I'm Ryan. I'm joined by my colleague David. We're here again with Plain Concepts and Plain TV talking about Sonar Wall. Uh, if you haven't checked out episode one or two, definitely check those out. The links will be below here. Uh, Sonar, of course, is that open source, community driven linting tool for web developers. Uh, last episode, we looked at creating a rule, uh, adding that rule to Sonar, and then what it took to get that running and get the results we desired. So in this episode, what are you going to be showing us, David? So in this episode, we are going to uh, improve our previous rule. So if you didn't watch the, the second episode, just comment that in the second episode we did a quick uh, uh, rule okay, uh, using the wizard. And this rule just was checking if uh, that all the requests we did we do in the in our website is inside our domain. Okay, so in this episode, what I want to do is uh, improve it and allow uh, third-party requests or requests to another domain domains because uh, I don't know maybe we have a tracking or an analytic uh, API and we want to allow that API to. To working on our website sure. so we are going to show today how to allow that okay, okay. so this is the what we have the in the previous episode uh, just a quick reminder we have a metadata uh, with information about our, our rules mm -hmm. and then we just create a couple of events one for the target when we start fetching the target and the other one when when we start fetching the other things mm -hmm. okay and when we fetch the target we store the current domain and when we fetch the other thing we just check if the domain is valid yeah and we and as a final step i think we added in the ignore one of the connectors yeah we also talk about the test how to create the test and also how can uh, how we can configure the test so in, so in this case we ignore uh, one of the connectors yep perfect okay. so we are going to start just right here okay? okay so the first thing we want to do is like allow external resources so in our sample page we have the this URL so yeah we want to allow that URL for example sure. okay so to do that we just can create a, here a new, uh, another variable okay, okay. Uh, this is going to be valid uh, URLs this is going to be an array of a string okay, okay. Uh, it's going to have that okay it's okay. going to be a, it's an array because the idea is to allow more not that not just one okay okay so the next thing we need to do is okay so now the things can be or in the same uh, domain or can be a specific URL. Okay. okay, so we need just to check that. So we can come here and say, okay, if is if validate the domain or is a valid URL, okay, sure. Then everything is okay. So um, validate. Sorry, I'm going to call it validate to be consistent and validate URLs is equal to uh, resource. And we are just to return that uh, valid URLs include includes the uh, the resource. Okay. Nice. Okay. So in this case. Uh, everything should work if I run Sonar, right? Okay. So let's try it. First of all, uh, yarn build, just we need to do that to get the last version of the code, okay? Okay. Anyway, I mean, while this is compiling, compiling, uh, this test will fail, or it should fail because okay. now the that URL is allowed. So let's try it later. Okay, so now see the sonar wall, and just yes, we are going to run. Yep. 
terrible. Okay, let's run it. Okay, let's see. Let's see what <laughs> happens. Yeah. As we mentioned in the previous episode, that's downloading everything, checking that everything is correct, mm -hmm. and finishing and our website is okay. Okay, nice. Well, that was quick. If we change, if we change the URL, for example, at tracking two, okay, what is gonna, what is yeah. gonna happen? Let's test this. It should make, Yeah, <laughs> let's make sure we're not just passing everything. Yeah. All right, it's running, compiling. Connector. Yeah, opening the browser, browser running the, the website. Getting results. Almost, almost there. Almost there, yeah. I don't know why it's taking so long. Let's see what happens. Well, maybe that's. <laughs> Well, my Visual Studio Code, that, that was the result. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's try again. CD packages. SolarWorld. Young SolarWorld. Let's see this time. Let's see this time. <laughs> okay. True account of development here. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Okay, we have the error. And we have the error. So we validated that what we've done works. It's working. Yeah. Love it. So now we need to fix the test. Okay, yeah. because if I run the test, those are, uh, they are going to fail. So mm -hmm. let's check the test. Right, dive into that. Okay, so it's in this case this test should pass. It should pass. And we are going to have something that fails. Okay. So this one should fail. Yep. We can try it. That our test is correct. So now it's nice so we can configure our rule but it's still not complete because it's like okay but I need to have the list inside the rule uh, oh I need a, I have a LinkedIn error somewhere in here I forgot the semicolon here okay so it's okay now but is if I want to allow more rules mm -hmm. I need to come here modify the rule and uh, co compile again, that's not very disabled. De Desired. Desired. Yeah, okay. sure. So it's like, uh, okay, let's, uh, how can I configure that? I mean, I want to allow the user to add their own URLs. Okay, yeah. So, uh, well, let's finish to the test, but basically, uh, SonarWorld allows configuration for rules. Sure. So you just not say, okay, the rule is, is gonna, f I need, I mean, if the rule fail is an error, is a warning, or uh, just disable the, the rule, we can also say, okay, the, the rule is gonna fail, but uh, we are going to give them some configuration. Okay. In this case, it's like, okay, it's going to fail, but uh, if there is some external resource, but I want to allow this. Okay. Um, well, there was an error here because the okay because I forgot to add the the report. Okay. Okay. So the message and it was invalid request. Right? Just double check. Double check. The check. error is oh, invalid. No, oh, I also had an error here. Okay. Alright, we got okay. those synced up now. Yeah. So let's run the test. Oh, I have an error here. I don't know what is going on. Oh, this is three ports. Okay. There we go. Yes, running in the test. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay, so I was telling before we need to con we want to make it configurable by the configuration file. Okay. So to do that, we have access in the context to a new variable that is context dot rule options. Okay, so here we are going to have all the configuration for the for the rule. Okay. okay. Also before I start doing this, we want to give an schema that, that what the rule support and or not. Yeah. Okay. So we need to go to the metadata and do something like okay. So properties. This is a JSON schema. Okay, so uh, any val val uh, valid JSON schema can be can be here. So the property uh, is gonna be uh, valid URLs. Okay, and this one is going to be type. All right. Um, item type string. Okay. Okay. And here are the types going to be. Oh, it's okay. The types going to be an object. It's complaining because it's not in the same line. <laughs> so, okay, and now we have these valid URLs, but uh, now the valid URLs can come from the configuration. So, okay. what we are going to do, just a short break, the test pass, and everything is okay. So, okay, nice. that's nice. So, let's continue. So, yeah. this valid URL is going to be instead of valid URLs, the default. In case that because when you have a configuration, you can use it or not. You can always you always have like a default configuration. Okay. Okay. So in this case, it's going to be the default. Okay. And then we are going to take the values from the configuration. To do that, it's just uh, valid URLs. It's an array string. And we can do something like okay if context. Um, rule options. Always check that rule option exists, just in case. Because if the user doesn't have anything in the rule, rule option doesn't, is going to be null or undefined. Or okay. Something. Okay. So context rule options. Not. We call it valid URLs. Mm -hmm. If it's that, we are going to use it. So. Okay. If not, we are going to use the default. Okay, so right now if we don't touch anything, everything should work as before. So we okay. are going to run the test again. Yeah. These rule options can be configured also in the test. Okay, it's not just in the configuration file, but when you are running your test and you are creating them, you can say also, okay, I want to run this test with this configuration. Okay. Okay, for so the rule. Okay. So let's wait a few seconds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's compiling right now. And that. now it's running the test. Okay. okay. It's running. Yeah, it's running. It's opening the browser, so it's running Chrome mm -hmm. because we still have ignored the, the JS DOM. Mm -hmm. and we and get our three pass, three skip. As Perfect, expected. as expected. It's what we like to see. Yeah. Okay, anyway, anyway, if someone see an error, it's just because of the threshold. Okay, in this, just you need to create more specific te uh, tests. Okay. Right. It's okay. So if we want to configure the test, Okay, it's like, okay, I want to run, I don't know, for example, mm, we are going to run this test. Okay, test two, array, full test equal to this one. 
Okay, but uh, oh, this is okay. and we say okay now we want this test to pass. Okay, so what we are going to do is remove the error and say okay, use test two um, also rule options. Valid. So, full options. Valid URLs. We are have here this URL. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. Boy. Let's remove this in there. So now the test. We are going to run the test again. Okay. We have an error. I forgot another semicolon somewhere. Uh, like, yeah. Okay, here. Okay, so remember those rule options are going to be here so instead of using the default uh, ba uh, valid urls mm -hmm. that is just tracking js he's going to use the one we are using the configuration okay, that perfect. is tracking to so this test should pass okay okay it's still working on it it's compiling okay let's see the result Okay, the tests are running right okay. now. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, the browser is here. You can see it's opening all the tabs for <laughs> each test. Yeah. One tab per test. And One tab per test, closing, and oh, we get our There is an error. The oh. test should pass. But saying that there is a error with tracking two, and because it is, that is why is that? Oh, because this is incorrect. Okay, <laughs> there was an extra i. Uh, oh, okay. In the, no <laughs> yeah, in the configuration. So okay. Okay. No worries. Things that happen. Things that <laughs> always happen. Those semicolons and extra characters. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. Okay, working through. Shouldn't have any errors this time. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. Chin, chin, chin. Churning through it, Sonar's doing its thing. Yep. While it's let's doing see. its thing, I'll just mention, uh, be sure to check out the website. They have the cutest uh, logo, Nelly the yeah. Narwhal. Nelly the Narwhal, yeah, it's really cute. <laughs> very cute, very cute. <laughs> okay, so now the tests are passing, so Looks that like it's working, but it's like, okay, but those are tests, let's try it in the real world. Yeah, okay? let's go do this in the real thing. So, let's go to my gorgeous website. It's um, beautiful. Yeah, so instead of tracking, we are going to have tracking too. So, if I run Sonar World, it's going to fail. Okay, okay. If, I don't, if I don't change anything. Sure. So... Let's go. Jar Sonar War. So this needs to fail because it's not configured right now. It's, it's using the default configuration. Mm -hmm. So need to fail. Open meantime the configuration and yeah. you can see the error. Yeah. So you say, okay, so how can I configure the, the rule? Because 
until now I just see error of warning but anything else sure so it's easy just we just create here modify and put it like an array mm -hmm. and now it's like the configuration in this case is valid uh, URLs okay so URL and the URL that we are going to copy paste from here okay so let's run it in there and if everything is okay just let me check this to json mm -hmm. okay so it wasn't okay <laughs> <laughs> good check yeah and now we can run sonar one again all right let's see okay the... let's see Huh? Everything is correct now. Beautiful, beautiful. So now you have your rule. Uh, your rule can be configurable, and that's. I think that's all we can. All we need. Yeah. Right. No. We awesome. have, yeah. So you walked through there. We took the existing rule, which uh, we did in episode two. Be sure to check that out. And we added some extra configuration to this rule to really make it do exactly what we want and allow some URLs to be yeah. used on this site, such as if you're doing Adobe Analytics or some sort of tracking, then you wanted yeah. to allow that, but you didn't want to allow anything else on the actual mm -hmm. website. Uh, well, thank you very much for walking us through that. Super cool, I mean, super quick. Uh, again, definitely be sure to check out the website. The links will be below. Thank you, David, for thank you, Ryan. walking us through the code and plugging that all in. Uh, Thanks again for watching Plain TV and be sure to tune in for our next episode. Thank you.